All right, man. I'm pretty sure most of y'all are already caught up with the whole beef between Kendrick and Drake by now, bro. I'm pretty sure y'all already know that as of late, <laughs> Kendrick dug a hole, threw Drake in that motherfucker and put the dirt on top of it with Meet the Grams. And then he dropped that Not Like Us and danced on top of that motherfucker. It, even as a Drake fan, you got to be unbiased, bro. Come on, man. You got to be real. Killed that nigga with that. Drake just dropped The Heart Part 6 seven minutes ago. I know I ain't reacted to the other ones because I was I just listened to them. But, bro, I got to start dropping these reactions on this, bro. I, I want to I wanna put my opinion on these songs out there. So we finna go ahead and do this, nigga. Listen, Drake, and I've said this before, if what I'm about to listen to right now is not an absolute annihilation, you still down, bro. You still, you still down. You have to annihilate Kendrick. You gotta eviscerate Kendrick if you want any hope of climbing back into this beef. Cause you lost so far right now, bro. You got you got you got obliterated. Kendrick wasn't playing with your motherfucking ass. So I'm done talking, man. We're about to jump right into this. Without further ado, let it. All right, let's go. I'm going to pause and give my thoughts when I feel like it's necessary. The Pulitzer Prize winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First, I was a rat. So where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? Okay. Jake would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal connects stand up, not far down. The ones that you get and get stories from, they all clowns. Okay, so uh, Drake is first of all. First of all, Drake ain't nobody trying to check you on your street cred because we all know you ain't. You ain't got no your, your street cred is fake, bro. Ain't nobody believe in shit you saying when it come to that. So no, you wouldn't have to hide out nowhere. But he mentioned uh, the people you getting your stories from is all clowns. So I'm guessing he about to go in on his thoughts on what Kendrick Lamar had to say. You know, Kendrick Lamar supposedly exposed that Kendrick, not Kendrick, but Drake has a daughter. A daughter that he's not claiming, a daughter that he's not talking about. And also, he called him a PDF file. So, Drake probably about to speak on that. I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation. We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information. A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or a destination. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, 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 hold the fuck up, wait a minute. So you're saying that you gave Kendrick that information that he had an 11 year old daughter. You had a nigga to tell Kendrick that so Kendrick would throw it in the song. Why though? What's the purpose? I don't know. We're we gonna have to hit play and keep on listening. I don't understand why you would do that though. Cause even if it's a lie, you fed him. Why would you even have someone tell him that? I don't know. Let's, let's keep listening. It's 11 years old. I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or a destination. But you so thirsty, you not concerned with investigation. Instead, you in that Venice studio. It's a celebration. You okay. Learn to fact check things and be less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. Even the picture you use, the jokes and the medication. The Maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. That picture was funny as hell. Kendrick is a petty nigga for doing that, bro. But yeah, man, this nigga's saying that he's saying that they gave you the information and you ain't even take the time to even look into it to see if it was cap or not. You was like, oh, no, for real? I'm, 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 I'm no game. Kendrick got the writing and put that motherfucker out. Okay, still, though, I, I need to understand why. Why? Master manipulator, you bit on a speculation. You dumb and reactive, nigga. I'm petty with dedication. What about the bones we dug up in that excavation? And why isn't Whitney denying all of the allegations? Why is she following Dave free and not Mr. Morale? You haven't seen the kids in six months. The distance is wild. Dave leaving heart emojis underneath pics of the child. Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This wait a minute, is that the real? Okay, so wait a minute. So it was a picture of the child. Day Free left that up under there and the author, which is Kendrick's girl, his wife. Part of it? Am I misunderstanding things? I don't get too deep into these niggas' lives, so I don't know everybody that they be referring to when they say niggas' names. So y'all gotta excuse me for that. But if I'm wrong on that, correct me in the comments. But I think that's what he's saying. I mean, I wish he would have showed more than just a blank ass white background. Like this could be edited. Like I, I could make this. You know what I'm saying? I could throw something like this together in like five minutes. Epstein angle was the shit I expected. 
TikTok videos you collected and dissected. Instead of being on some disdirect shit, you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. My mom came over today and I was like, Mother I, Mother I, Mother I, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Ah, oh, fuck me. I just made the whole connection. This about to get so depressing. Huh? This is trauma from your own confessions. This when your father leave you home alone with no protection. So neglected. That's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with. It's so excessive. They acting like it's so aggressive. But you just never known affection. I don't want to dish you anymore. This really got me second guessing. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play. You probably start reflecting. Oh no, okay. So... Drake is basically just saying that Kendrick is capping on the whole PDF file thing, which is what you would say, regardless of whether it's true or not. Of course, you're going to deny it, nigga. Like, duh. I'm, and I'm not saying Drake is. I, I ain't got no proof. Kendrick could have just been saying some shit for all we know. It, the way he said it, it don't seem like this nigga lying. <laughs> but we don't know. We don't know what's true and what's not, bro. You know what I'm saying? We just listeners. You know what I'm saying? We're on the outside looking in. We can't just take everything these niggas say at face value. All I know is the shit went crazy. To levy an allegation like that against somebody is crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? But Kendrick, he stood on that for two songs straight. You know what I'm saying? Even though he played with it a little bit more on, on that Not Like Us, you know, it was a club, but he's still saying the shit. So that nigga wasn't playing, bro. And uh, okay, so let's go ahead and hit play, man. I never been with no one underage, but now I understand why this the angle that you really mess with. Drake, you. I mean, okay, maybe you never dated nobody underage, but you did kiss an underage girl on stage one time, nigga. And you have known to be apparently in DMs of underage women, even, even though some of them could have been lying. I don't think they all lying on you, but continue. Just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for the shit you mm -hmm. just suggested, but that's not the lesson. Clearly, there's a deeper message. Deep cuts that never hit. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm going to rewind. My bad, y'all. I know I'm pausing kind of frequently. That don't necessarily mean shit. I, I I get what he's saying. Like, bro, I'm fucking Drake. Like, I'm Drake. If I was doing some shit like that, I would have been got caught. I would have been got exposed. Not necessarily. You got a little something we like to call hush money. <laughs> you able to pay motherfuckers off the way they don't say nothing. So you could have easily been doing that. Drake got bread. Come on, man. Drake is like, isn't Drake the highest paid rapper in the game right now? I'm pretty sure he is. If he's not, then my bad. But I know he one of them. So you definitely got hush money. So nah, that don't necessarily mean nothing. But hey, you got to defend yourself in any way you can. So let's continue. Shit you just suggested, but that's not the lesson. Clearly there's a deeper message. Okay. Deep cuts that never healed and how they got infected. Like if Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant. Talk about breeding resentment. Not okay. Sure how to ease the sentiment. The shit's too intimate. I'm praying you recover from both incidents. But you a piece of shit, so this shit really no coincidence. Drake is not a name that you gonna see on no sex offender list. Easy does it. Okay. You mentioned an A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was. <laughs> I like that. I like, okay, 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 Drake, hold on. I like, I like it. He said, you mentioned the A minor where Drake got a B shot. He flipped it. He flipped it. He's like, all right, I could do, I could do music puns too, Nick. You ain't the only one that got that. You know what I'm talking about? I got that too. All right. All right, Drake. All right, Drake. I'm going to rewind it. I, I like that though. You mentioned that A minor, but niggas got to be sharp and tell the fans who was it. You yeah. You left D flat, D made. D flat D major. With the razor and do Rick Ross air like that one flight from Malaysia. I'm your baby mama screensaver. Only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never looked that's true. No teenager. I'm a fucking hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. Okay, I hope Drake's not really <laughs> the background of Kendrick's baby mom's phone because I mean, that's 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 nothing though. Is it? It is. Is it his girl? Like the girl Kendrick is with, or just another? girl because if it's, if it's the girl kendrick is with then that's fucking crazy obviously like how you got drake as your background but not kendrick but if it's just like if kendrick got another baby mom somewhere and she's single then that's really irrelevant yeah bullets that i'm stuffing in each chamber go ass in extreme danger stop buying views and buy comments you may as well keep the oh paper. my god about the need for later i give a fuck about your streaming data you could drop a hundred more records i'll see you later yeah, maybe when you meet your maker. I Hold on, so is he really about to bow out of the beef? This is the second time he's mentioned, like, I don't want to rap no more. He just said, I don't care if you drop 100 disc records, I'll see you later. Like, Drake, is this really it? Like, you after this, you about, you done? Because I ain't going to lie. This ain't, this ain't no really, this ain't really no comeback. All this song I've heard so far is Drake pretty much saying, Kendrick, you're lying. 
that's, that's all I'm that's all I've been hearing. Okay, but we still got two minutes left. So I'm gonna go ahead and play. But Drake, if you bow out here, you fucking lost, bro. I don't wanna fight with a woman beater if Fiji you. If you still bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music, then your music is going to a hypocrite. I don't understand why these- I ain't gonna lie. I seen that on Twitter. Somebody has shared that on Twitter that apparently R. Kelly's music had like went up by like 15% after Surviving R. Kelly came out on Spotify. And Spotify was about to take all of his music off. Like, nah, we ain't, we ain't supporting that. And I, I guess, According to what I seen, Kendrick was like, if y'all about to remove all of R. Kelly's music, I want to take my music off the platform too. And they was like, oh, okay, we won't remove it then. Now, of course that does look bad given the context of Drake, I mean not Drake, but Kendrick literally calling Drake out for being a PDF file. So it's like, oh, you did that though for R. Kelly? But at the same time, it could just be about the music. Because when you separate art from the artist, I know a lot of people don't like doing that. But when you do that, regardless of how fucked up of a person R. Kelly is, his music is fucking iconic. It's legendary, nigga. The music. Fuck him. Fuck him, the person. R. Kelly, the music, the artist, the music itself is always going to be fire. So you might not want to support them removing all this music from a platform. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick might like, hey, man, I'm still going to listen to his songs. Fuck him, but I'm still going to listen to his music. But... If you go that hard as somebody for being a PDF file, you would think that you wouldn't even want to listen to the music of someone who's also accused of the same thing. So I get what Drake is saying there. Feed your nature. We're gonna need some more research on that. Bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music, then your music is going to a hypocrite. I don't understand why these people praise you. Sounding like you sent him commissary when he needs some paper. Album dropping soon. No wonder you turn a clout chaser instead of doing hard labor. <laughs> Nigga, I see you when I see you like Fantasia and Whitney. You can hit okay. me if you need a favor. And when I say I hit your back, it's a lot safer. Oh wow! I promise. Okay, Drake. Yeah, Drake levied accusations of Kendrick being a woman beater against him, but that's another thing. Just like Kendrick accusing Drake of being a PDF file, he provided no evidence. He just said some shit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't showed us nothing. Same thing with Drake. Drake said Kendrick be beating on his wife. Or his girl. We ain't seen that. So uh that's 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 nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't even really even when Kendrick said uh I mean no, when Kendrick said that about Drake, that definitely went hard on the on the PDF file thing. That's a serious allegation. Woman being is a serious allegation too, but it's all been hearsay at this point. So I never really even took it that serious when I heard him say it the first time. Yeah. This kind of sound like I'm biased against Drake, but good exercise, like it's not. It's good to get out, get the pen work through. You would be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor, but... He talking. He rhyming what he talking. That's what it is. You definitely got this shit burnt the fuck out, though. Like, you got 10 more records to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. <laughs> oh, shit. You go and drop the West Coast one and try and cover that up. I would like that one. That, that, that would be some shit I could dance to if he wasn't. Bro, who? Hold on, wait a minute. I've heard that narrative being passed around that he dropped the Not Like Us to cover up to meet the Grams. What? I don't, I didn't, I didn't take it like that at all. I talk, I took it as him dropping Meet the Grams to be on some, I'm really coming for your fucking juggler. I'm really coming at your neck. I'm about to snatch your goddamn throat out. You're dead, nigga. And then him dropping Not Like Us just to play with it. Like, all right, because at the end of the day, niggas got Kendrick fucked the fuck up. What people was out here saying was Kendrick can't make no hit. A lot of lyricists get accused of that. Okay, you're good at rapping, but that's all you can do. It's a lot of niggas that's good at rapping. Can you make a hit, though? That's a lot. A lot of Drake beefs, he didn't won off just simply making a hit on niggas. Like, okay, hey, you, you make a diss song against me. I'm going to just make a diss song against you, but this is going to be a hit. So I win automatically. I feel like Kendrick just had to show the nigga I make hits too, nigga. I'm Kendrick Lamar. What the fuck? I don't just I don't just rap good, nigga. I can make hits too. And so I feel like that's what Not Like Us was. But um, I guess Drake feels like Not Like Us was a cover up for Meet the Grams. And yeah, he's literally about to bow out of the beef. So this is it. This is the end. This is this is this is the finale of the of the saga, the Drake versus Kendrick. I can't imagine Kendrick not dropping again. This nigga said ten more. That's probably an exaggeration, but who knows? <laughs> Shit, Kendrick fuck around, have a have a diss out within the next 20 minutes, goddammit. I and cover that up. I would like that one. That, that, that would be some shit I could dance to. If I'm gonna let it play. I'm gonna let it play out. Tripling down on some whole other bullshit, but 
you know, at least your fans are getting some raps out of you. I'm happy I can motivate you, bring you back to the game, like, you know, but just let me know when we get into the facts. Okay. Everything in my shit is facts. I'm waiting on you to return the favor, like. Favor? Is it? Hold on, I'm not, I'm not finna, I'm not finna pause it. It's still, it might slip something in. Oh, that's it. That's just the beat fading out. Wow. Okay. I'm not even gonna hold you. Drake. See this? That is an L. You gotta hold that, bro. Listen, my nigga. This wasn't even that bad. You was spitting. But this is essentially just Drake being like, Kendrick is lying. But because he's telling these kind of lies, I don't even want to partake anymore. So I'm bowing out. This was fun until it got this serious and I don't even want to do it no more. So Drake is bowing out of the beef. Kendrick was already on top. This wasn't even, this was nothing. This was just Drake rapping, really. Like in my humble, in my humble opinion. I like Drake too. I don't want y'all to think that it's just, this is biased. I like Drake too. But bro, this wasn't shit. So if this is the end of the saga, <laughs> Drake lost. Is this his first ever time losing a rap beef? Damn. He would have lost back in the day. I, I would stand on this hill and die on it. I don't give a fuck what nobody got to say. He would have lost to Meek Mill back during his in Meek Mill beefs. Yes. Had Meek Mill responded. Meek Mill did not respond. By the time he responded, it was way too late. And then Drake, you know, he dropped back to back on that nigga and just killed his ass with that. But Meek Mill is a better rapper than Drake. So I feel like he would have annihilated his ass had he actually responded. But he fucking didn't. Me gonna have to hold that L for the rest of his career. Drake, you gonna have to hold this. But yeah, man, Drake is essentially saying Kendrick is lying and the thing that he's lying about, I'm not finna glorify that with too many responses. So here y'all go with this heart part six. I'm done. I ain't rapping with this nigga no more. If he dropped more disses, then whatever. But I ain't finna keep going back and forth with this nigga. Damn, man. History in the making. And look like it's over already. I caught the ass end of it. I, I okay. I ain't catch. I, again, I've been listening to the disses whenever they came out. I just never made videos. I don't. I don't really. I don't react to music on this channel. You know what I'm saying? Music be copyrighted and shit. But uh, I heard these disc records aren't copyrighted. So that's it right there. But that is my thoughts and opinions on this whole little thing. Let me know what y'all thought in the comments, man. How y'all feel about the beef? Do y'all feel like everything Kendrick said was cat? Do y'all believe Drake on his uh, notions that everything that Kendrick said and Meet the Grams? was fed to him from Drake on purpose. Like, yeah, we're gonna get this nigga some fake information just to get him to rap. Cause to me, he still didn't give a reason why. Like Drake, if you really did give Kendrick that info just to get him to say it in a song, why? What was the purpose? Were you playing chess and you had plans on exposing him for that and other things, but you didn't expect him to go the whole PDF file route. And so now you're like, oh, I ain't, I ain't know this nigga was gonna do all this. Now I'm backing out. That's what it seems like it is. But I still don't understand why you gave him that information. There was, there was no purpose from what I see. I don't know. Like just to get the nigga to lie, you got the nigga to lie for what? <laughs> for what? Uh, I don't know, but hey, I'm done, man. I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here because I'm rambling at this point. Make sure y'all show a lot of love to the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit me up down in the comments. I do want to talk to y'all about how y'all feel about this, man. Let me know something, and I'll get back to y'all in the comments. Show a lot of love to the video. Like, share, and subscribe to the next time we up out of this thing. Simple Diary signing out. Thanks. Yeah.